hi guys welcome back to the channel uh, today's video is about hair fall or hair thinning a lot of people uh, including myself my husband my own mother we've been facing a lot of hair fall issues for for quite some time now and I know a lot of people out there um, are also facing the same um, but they're just a little hesitant to talk about it um, I'm by all means, I'll put a disclaimer out, I'm by all means not a doctor or not a certified professional. These are just some of the things that um, me, my husband, my mom or a few of friends and family have been trying for a lot and long time and it's tried and tested and we know that it works. Um, and also I've studied a lot about it. I've spoken to a few dermatologists um, also when I started facing this problem or my husband did. So I I know quite a bit about it now, so I can I'm conf I can confidently go out and talk about it to you guys and try and help out. There are lots of other options out there available. You can check it out on Google. There are lots of um, articles been written about it. There are lots of shampoos and conditioners and medicines and whatnot available nowadays. But um, you need to know the root cause of your hair fall. Um, it could even be genetics. Genetics is one of the number one of the reasons for hair falls or hair thinning. So, I'm not sure if genetics is a cause for me, but um, I think stress and the pollution, uh, styling products, or a lot of put, putting a lot of heat into a, our hair or getting our hair colored, which I'm sure you guys can tell I get my hair colored a lot. So these are some of the reasons that you can that can also cause. Um, hair fall and hair thinning. I face a lot of problems right in the right in the crown area, right in the front of my uh, scalp of hair fall. Um, other reasons could be illnesses. If you've been ill for a long time, if you've got thyroid, so go get that checked. If you have uh, iron deficiency, um, you need to get your blood work done to find out. So, and you'll have to get your medications taken accordingly if you have thyroid or iron. Uh, menopause is other reason in women. Hormones is one and other reasons in women, especially after pregnancy or even during pregnancy. Um, if your diet isn't good enough, if you're unhealthy, um, stress, anxiety, this is another reason. Uh, if you lose a lot of styling products, uh, if you put a lot of heat in your product, your hair tends to break. Um, so you have to be very careful with what all you put into your hair. If you don't have a good hair hygiene, if you don't regularly shampoo, if your scalp isn't clean, if it's dirty, um, and if you you know use too much dry shampoo and you avoid washing your hair for a long time, that is another reason. Um, uh, you just have to watch out for the root cause of what your actual uh, hair fall problem could be and accordingly get someone to help you out. So by someone here, I mean a doctor can help you out. Um, you can do a lot of research online by yourself and find out what is it that you can do. Try and figure it out and if you need help, by all means, go out and see a doctor. Um, they'll probably put you on a biotin. Biotin is uh, what is required for hair growth. Um, I take it my husband's been taking it and there there are many forms that it comes in um, I'll tell you the one that I take <clears throat> I take these pills uh, these are biotin tablets and these are called H wit you can easily get them at any pharmacy now um, I'm not recommending you guys to go out and buy it for yourself and eat it by yourself like don't go out and buy it definitely consult a doctor before you go you can even consume these but this is what I've been taking. Uh, I've been taking them for a very, very long time. And uh, I'll be very honest, I've started noticing a little baby hair growing out. So that is one of the good things. I, but it does take a long time um, for it to work. There are a lot of gummy bears also available online. I've seen them a lot on Amazon or Nika. I think they're called sugar bears or gummy bears. I'm not sure. There's hair tamin, there's vegetarian capsules. There are a lot of stuff available outside um, that you can take orally. But you have to be very careful that um, if you can't even take them, you have to consult a doctor first according to your health issues and whatnot. Uh, also, these things take a long time for, you, for it to work in your body. You will not see an immediate um, result give it at least two to three months. It could go up to at least six months. So give it some time, have patience. 
I'll tell you one of the other things that I, I've seen my husband use. My husband's done a lot of research on his hair thinning. He's got a hair thinning issue in the crown. I think it's it's genetics for him. Uh, but I'll tell you what he uses. He uses this min, uh, minoctis, uh, minoxidil uh, solution. He puts this in his hair every morning. He puts a few drops in his hair and he massages it. Um, I'll I'll have to get him to come and speak about it a little bit more openly if it does or if it has helped him. Um, he's got a hair thinning problem, so his hair is thinned out a lot in the crown area. So, um, I, I I kind of noticed a little uh, change in his hairs um, in his hair. So we'll have to get him to speak more about it. But this the reason. Um, if you have a high BP problem, if you have high blood pressure, so it's going to keep your blood pressure high. So that's another thing you have to watch out for. So my recommendation is before using any of these things on yourself, get someone to consult, get get a consultation done from a doctor. Before you have any major problem, you know, it's better to get help from a doctor before you can start using any of these things. Um, achha, there are some home remedies. I'm not sure or I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of this online aajkal wo onion um, shampoos and onion conditioners i'm sure you guys have seen it a lot pop up on your um, on your phones and screens um, i'm not sure how good those are i've never tried it and i'm never going to try it it's just not my vibe because there's no both chemicals hote hain and i'm not sure that if that's even good for your hair but yes um, if you can take an onion ek pyaaz ko grate karke uska jo you'll have to squeeze it out and the water that comes out of it you have to rub it and massage it into your scalp leave it into your scalp for an hour or so um and then wash it after an hour you'll have to do it regularly uh isse bhi kehte hain ki hair growth hota hai it helps uh this one indulekha oil i started using it but uh I was a little impatient putting this oil in my hair and waiting for the results. The reviews are good. Online reviews are very good. But um, it's maybe Kapoor. Hai. Yeah. Kapoor is one of the other things, one of the other ingredients that actually helps in hair regrowth. So what my husband does is he takes a few um, of those pieces of Kapoor. He crushes it into either olive oil or coconut oil. Um, and then he would uh, massages into his hair and sleep on it. So he'll put it on his hair and leave it overnight and wash it the next morning. He's even put extra Kapoor pieces into into this oil. It smells really great. Um, and Kapoor is one of the other things that actually does work for your hair. So go ahead and give these things a try. Um, other than that, these are just home remedies. Other than that, you can go out and get professionally um, treated and have patience. And uh, yeah, and that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Bye.